and online, 800wvhu.com. Well, I've been really excited uh, to talk to my next guest because uh, I- I'm wondering how um, families, particularly large families, can make it in a tough economy. And, uh, and, and a lot of folks are looking to get out of the rat race of being involved in, in working for a company, a large corporation, and uh, starting a home business, a family business. Well, that's exactly what my next guest and her family have done. PJ Jonas joins us now, and uh, the company is Goat Milk Stuff. And uh, PJ, you, you sent some uh, goat milk soap and uh, the, the black raspberry, and I really like that. And uh, I, I was getting dried out with that old, yucky, uh, cheap deodorant soap. So thanks a lot. I like that. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Tom. <laughs> How on earth did you all get involved in making goat milk soap? It actually started several years ago when I was bathing all the children, and I read the ingredient list on the baby wash that I had always used, and I was really shocked to see that it was all chemical-based and petroleum-based products. So I, I really wanted a healthier product for the children, so I decided to learn to make my own soap. Um, we already had the dairy goat, so it was easy to use the goat milk instead of the water, and I just did a lot of research and developed a formula that really worked great on our skin. And, and uh, so how many goats do you all have? We have seven milkers and then the two bucks. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, you guys are in Indiana, is that right? Yep, southern Indiana, about half hour from Louisville. Okay. Well, you're not that far away then. No, right. it's not. Okay. Uh, now, you've got uh, you've got eight children. Correct. And you and your husband homeschool. Correct. All right. So that means you can also have the kids help out with the family business. Absolutely. The kids are a large part of what we do. Um, the boys do all the milking and caring for the goats. They milk them and feed them twice a day. And then um, my daughter does a lot of the shipping of the internet orders and all the little guys will help us bag all the soap during the day. So you do it all yourself right there at your home? Yes. Wow. That's incredible. How long have you been doing it now? The business is about two and a half years old right now. Um, I've been making soap for going on five years, but we didn't start selling it uh, until a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, you guys have actually been featured uh, on on a television program and so forth. And uh, I I guess uh, it, it seems like Maybe in America right now, there's, I don't know if you call it a movement or at least an interest in in families working together and doing what you all are doing. It, it, does it seem that way? I think definitely. Based on the number of calls and questions and emails that I get, there's a lot of people out there who want to do what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, and, and you guys uh, are running this business. You, do you, ha- you have a retail place or you just do everything online? Um, we have a very large online business, but we do have, um, we sell it out of our house. We have a lot of people just come to the house to pick it up, but then it's also in stores in the area and across the country. Yeah. Now, uh, if the, if the Amish had, uh, radios and they were listening, they'd probably be saying, ah, we've been doing this stuff for years. Yep. <laughs> but, but we get to use the internet, which really boosts sales. <laughs> it gives you an advantage over the Amish, right? Absolutely. Are, are there some Amish, uh, in your neighborhood or around, uh, that area of Indiana? Um, about an hour or so away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. D- do you d- did you kind of learn from them? No, I've never been out there. I uh, use the internet to do most of my learning. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. A- and uh, by the way, uh, your husband uh, has got a couple of degrees. He was a was he a public school teacher? He did. He taught science for seven years. Yeah, and you've got a degree. Uh, and my degree is in engineering. So uh, you you've kind of put your your uh, education to work at home. Has it helped you with your business? I think it's helped with our mindset and the way we approach things. We don't just treat it as a hobby. We really go after it as as, as a full-time business. So it's helped with that, but we didn't exactly learn any skills during our education that has helped us to do what we're doing now. Yeah. Uh, talk about uh, any criticisms. Have you had any criticism? I mean, even from family, friends, neighbors say, what? what? You're doing what? You've got You've got all this education, and you're doing what with goats? People think it is amazing what we're doing. They are so impressed that we're taking, you know, a small commodity product and supporting a family of 10 with it that all we get is positive feedback. That's great. That's really good. Uh, It's got to be an adventure for you. 
It's wonderful. Every day is, is something new that we get to teach the children and learn, and everybody's always here, so we get to um, really grow closer as a family and, you know, and, and explore new things. So it's, it's been a blessing. And, and your children range in age from 3 to 13? That's correct. Yeah. All right. Well, walk us through uh, the process here of goat milk soap. Uh, when you make soap, you start with your fats and oils. And you add a base to it. In this case, we use um, sodium hydroxide. And that starts a chemical reaction, which turns those inputs into soap. Um, when, you use, when you mix the ingredients, you need to use a liquid. And most soap is just made with water. But we use the goat milk because the goat milk adds all the cream and the proteins. So it's really moisturizing on your skin. Plus, goat milk is very high in vitamin A and lactic acid and the alpha hydroxy acids, which are very good in nourishing and cleansing your skin. Wow. Now, how do you get it to smell so nice? Those are essential oils or fragrance oils or a combination of the two. Uh huh. We just add those in. We add some color in that's uh, naturally derived so we can distinguish the bars and make them look pretty. Yeah. Uh, how many different... Uh... How many different fragrances do you have? We have over 30, and then we have some specialty soaps as well. It's kind of like going to the, you know, the ice cream place. I mean, you, you got a lot of different flavors there with that. It's really funny to watch the people who stick with the same scent, you know, month after month, and then the people who want a new one every single time they have a different, you know, they get a different bar of soap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's not just soap. You've you've got other things, too. Tell us about some of your other products. We do. We really just provide products that we use as our family. So as we come up with different needs, we uh, find something that meets them and, and a product that's acceptable. So we've got lip balm because we use a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And then um, we do a solid lotion, which is differs from a liquid lotion because when you make a liquid lotion, you have to use chemical preservatives because bacteria will grow in that liquid. And I don't like to use chemical preservatives, so we make a solid lotion stick that you just rub on and then it sinks right into your skin wow. my daughter does most of those and then we also do a bath bomb for baths which is you just drop the bath bomb into your bathtub and it fizzes and lets out all scent and oils and leaves your skin really soft as well oh that's neat i bet the kids love that oh yeah and one <laughs> of our biggest products um, lately has been our laundry soap which really kind of took us by surprise because we made an unscented laundry soap for people with really sensitive skin and everybody just loves it um, getting reports of their clothes have never been cleaner or softer or whiter, and um, a lot of people are feeling a difference on their skin just from switching the laundry soap. Wow, that, that's interesting. I, any other products you think about getting into? Oh, yeah, we've got all sorts of things in the work. We're working on a shampoo and deodorant and body wash and bubble bath and all that kind of stuff. But it's got to it's gotta meet our standards before we actually will put it out, so it takes us some time to get them all developed. Mm-hmm. Now, and all this has and will have a, a goat milk base? Almost all of it. The um, the lip balms and lotion sticks don't because uh, then I would have to put the chemical preservatives in, ah. which would outweigh the benefits of the goat milk. But all the other stuff does, the laundry soap and the bath bombs, um, and then all the, the new products we're developing. Well. Uh -huh. and, and, and you make this, uh, you got a liquid goat milk soap too, right? We do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was our newest product. We launched that in September. Okay. All right. Uh, so, I mean, th this is why it's called goat milk stuff, because you got more than just st uh, soap, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Goatmilkstuff.com is the website. You got to go there and check this out. Uh, we've been talking to PJ Jonas, her and her husband, Jim, and their eight children, ranging from ages 3 to 13. It's a family-run business in Charlestown, Indiana. And, and I like the motto here, work hard, get dirty use good soap. My husband came up with that. It, it really kind of captures how we live and how we feel about things. Yeah. Um, well, I, I can imagine that uh, with, with a family business, there's a lot of hard work pretty much from, uh, you know, the time you get up to the time you go to bed. Always, you know, having a family business, having a large family, there's always chores to be done. Um, we get up and have breakfast as a family, and then we head out to the, the boys head out to the goats, and the rest of us head out to the soap room, and we get all the morning chores done before lunch, and then the kids tend to head to their schoolwork, and the younger ones have free time, and Jim and I get the rest of the stuff done before dinner. Yeah. Uh, has, uh, have any of the major corporations, uh, anybody come in and said, look, we, we, we want to buy your idea, we want to buy your product, we want to distribute your product? Nope, not yet. 
I, I can imagine that's going to happen. Um, you know, we'll see what happens down the road. I still kind of would be amazed at, <laughs> at that, but people keep telling me to expect a phone call. Yeah, yeah. Is, is anybody else doing this online? I mean, did you have a model, or have you all pretty much uh, broke the mold here? There are a lot of small goat milk soapers out there doing it. You know, there's a lot of, of um, farmers with goats and, and families such as ours that do it. Um, we're one of the ones doing it on a larger scale. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, soap, lotion sticks, bath bombs, lip bombs, and, uh, and now dish, or not dishwasher, but uh, uh, laundry detergent. Are you going to do dishwasher detergent? I have uh, stuff that I use for that, so yeah, it's just a matter of figuring out how to make it on a bigger scale. Yeah, that's that's neat. That's neat. Uh, they homeschool. They have a family business, and it's goat milk stuff. Jim and PJ Jonas, we've been talking to uh, PJ. You're gonna have to write a book about this. Yeah, I keep getting that a lot. I don't know how I'm gonna free up the time for that, but but maybe when the children are a little older. Yeah. Do uh, do, do y'all like the Duggars? You know what? We don't really watch television, so I don't, um, don't ever get a chance them. to watch their show. But um, from what I hear about them, they're doing an amazing job and staying true to their family and their faith. Well, you know, that's uh, the reason I brought that up is because it seems like the interest in that show and in that family, 19 and counting, it, it seems to have uh, you know brought around a, a different way of thinking with a lot of people. Uh, of course, you guys already have a big family, but but a lot of people are starting to rethink, you know, family and getting back to things like what you all were doing, like we were talking about earlier. And really, it's just it's not something new. It's a throwback to what what things were normal a hundred years ago. Yeah, I think that uh, you know things are swinging a bit in America, and and people are trying to get back to more natural ways of life and and more family centered way of living, and they exemplify that. Well, uh, folks might want to consider this for uh, stocking stuffers or a Christmas gift or a birthday gift or what have you. Goatmilkstuff.com. And PJ Jonas has been my guest. Thank you so much, and uh, best of luck with the business. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Tom. You have a great day. All right, you too. Uh, very, very interesting. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's give away a, a, a gift pack. They get they sent us some uh, soap here to, uh, to give away, and uh, I want to give away some of this so you can try it. Man, it smells so good. I mean, it's just it. I opened up the box, and uh, and I mean the soap's still in, in its uh, wrapper, but you can just smell it. And it's it's refreshing the room here. Eight fifty. We'll give away to the eighth caller uh, a little sample here of goat milk soap from the Tom Roten Morning Show and uh, goatmilkstuff dot com. Back on the Tom Roten Morning Show right after this. This is News Talk eight hundred WVHU eight hundred WVHU eight hundred.